I am so excited. I got a knitting machine. Oh my goodness, guys, I am so excited about this. I have seen this so much on TikTok and YouTube. Ever since I first laid my eyes on it, I was like, this is amazing. And I wanted to get it. I finally met the bullet and I did it. And it literally arrived like 10 minutes ago. Like I could not wait to start using it and playing with it. I have cleared my schedule for today and we're gonna be playing with this machine. So if you guys have not seen this before, this is the Centro knitting machine. For those of you who watch me, you know I am not really a knitter. I am more of a crocheter, but I've always loved the look of knitted pieces. And I don't know, I just thought this could be really fun. So I got this on Amazon. This is the 48 pin knitting machine, I believe. I really want a knitted midi skirt and I think this is gonna help me get there. But we're just let's just open it for now. Let's just open it. We don't even know how to use it yet, so let's let's get to opening it. I'm so excited. machine it was super easy to build I am so excited to play with this today I feel like I've watched every single like TikTok video YouTube tutorial on how to use this so I don't know if I'm being overly confident in this but I'm gonna just try play with it right now I should probably read the instructions but that's not what's gonna happen right now but yeah this is the machine like I said I want to make a midi skirt but because I've never used this machine before obviously I'm gonna do a little test project. I'm gonna try and make a beanie. I think that is probably the simplest thing that you can make with this machine. That's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to be using this yarn here. This was a Lions brand yarn, but I can't remember what it was called. This is just like stuff I have left over from a different project. And I think it'll make a really cute beanie. So I'm just gonna start doing this and we're gonna see how this works. I'll bring you closer. A little tour of the machine, I guess. This is the row counter this is the tension thing <laughs> and then there's two settings on the machine there's a tube and panel and so i believe for a beanie we want to stick with tube and then we've obviously got the cranky part so figure out how to start this out i feel like i should just watch another like youtube tutorial right now that's what i'm gonna do right side okay so this is the starting point take a look it says number 48 pin there's a white pin here probably can't even see it for, that is the 48th pin, so that's the last pin. So I'm on the first pin here, and she's just done this and left a tail of about six to eight inches. I probably shouldn't even be trying to like tell you what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing myself. So let me figure it out and then I will talk to you, okay? <laughs> All right, I think we're good to start cranking now. Ah! I'm so scared. I need to get my yarn ball involved. It's a panda. Isn't that amazing? I can put my yarn in here. So I have to do this now for 100 rows and I've done three, so. We've hit 101 rows. It looks so beautiful and cool. And I feel like this only took me like, I don't even know what time I started. Maybe like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, but it's so cool. So anyway, now we take the darning needle, I think, and we start casting off and then we can actually assemble the beanie. This is so fun and so quick. Okay, so now we've gotten to the last stitch we basically cut a length of string that's around the whole thing and cut that and then take it off and we just go around one more time just once back at the start and now i believe we just start 
picking up stitches. It's starting to come off. That's so cool. Okay, my work is off of the machine and now we essentially just cinch. I think I've got quite a few dropped stitches, which is bound to happen. This is my first time using this, so I can fix this. I don't know if this is correct, but I've seen this on TikTok. Basically, to fix your like drop stitches, you pick up the stitch with a crochet hook. This was one that just came with the machine. And you just literally pick up those stitches and pull through that loop. Again, I don't know if this is correct. This is just something I saw on TikTok. So, if this is wrong, don't follow me. You think that kind of worked? Right? You can't tell, really? Other than here, that there's a drop stitch. Yay! Alright, and so then we just cinch that really tight, and that's pretty much the top of the beanie. Now I just have to, like, secure this. Basically, I've cinched up both ends of this beanie, and you kind of need to stretch out your knitting because knitting kind of stretches anyway. So it stretched out and then you basically shove one end of the beanie into the other end. There we go, that's basically it. And now you have a beanie. I've got my hair up, so can't try this on, but there we go. There is the first beanie. I'm gonna say it took half an hour because this is my first time using this machine. I was just learning, but there we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, it's been another 40 minutes and I made another beanie. <laughs> so now I have two beanies. I made this one a little bit longer. This one is for my boyfriend, Seth. I'm happy with my two beanies. some tea. Now we're gonna finally start on the skirt. No more making beanies for other people. We're gonna start on the skirt. Mm. Hi! Miso is joining us. Do you wanna try knitting? You wanna smell my tea? Does it smell good? So to make this skirt, I believe we now have to go into panel knitting. So to make the beanies we did the tube and now we're going into panel. Are you with me? Yep. Cool. I've heard as well and I've been doing my little research. I've got my laptop with like a million tutorials open here. A lot of them say that with panel knitting the row counter doesn't really work so you kind of have to go off of like measurement or you have to like just remember how many rows like count them yourself. That's gonna be difficult so I think I'm just gonna go off like measurement. For yarn I have this beautiful yarn right here. This is the Vera Moda Reflection yarn. It's 100% acrylic. It is beautiful. Look at all those beautiful colors. Figure out how to do this. So let's go. Okay, so a lot has happened since I last saw you. First of all, my camera died. I couldn't show you anything for a little bit. And also, sorry about the lighting. It's now like six o'clock. Been doing this for like two hours now, maybe three. I don't know, but we've got a panel. Isn't this so pretty? So pretty. Anyway, I've made one panel. This is about 80 centimeters, I think. And yeah, working out how to do a panel was quite difficult, especially just like with the edges, you can kind of see, where is it here? There's a lot of like dropped stitches, like the, making sure that the edges of a panel is like straight and actually like no stitches are dropped. Like, it took me a little bit to understand how to do it, but I've watched a bunch of tutorials and I've done it now. We are now onto our second panel. Like this is quite stretchy, so if I sew these two panels together, they might be able to fit, but I kind of have a larger booty. So we might have to make like two smaller side panels. We'll see, I'll have to like pin it together and see how that works. But yeah, one full panel is done and I am having a blast but I am getting tired I'm gonna order some dinner
So now it's time to assemble the skirt and I'm just using my crochet hook to single crochet all the panels together just sewing the bigger panel next to the smaller panel and then the bigger panel and the smaller panel to create a skirt i then added elastic and that's it i've crocheted all the panels together so you can see there's like the longer 48 pin panel the smaller panels and this is how we're looking. You can see on the other side, this is what the seams look like. Somewhat invisible. I feel like this yarn is quite thin, so you can see them a bit. But now we sew these last two ends together to actually form a skirt. And then I will put an elastic and then we'll pretty much be done. So let's do that. So if you can hear the oven, I am making banana bread. <laughs> I am obsessed with this machine. Honestly, I spent my whole weekend just cranking this machine and I think my boyfriend was getting very annoyed at it But I'm obsessed. I can't stop. I honestly am so excited with like the endless possibilities that I can make on this machine Right now I am in the middle of making a long sleeve top I currently just have like the front and back panels and I'm in the middle of making a sleeve just with the tube setting it just works this up so so quickly and like like i said at the beginning of this video i'm not a knitter so this is just amazing to me that i can get knitted stuff without knitting i still do want to learn how to properly knit though but like this skirt i'm wearing it right now but this is not a very good way to show you the skirt but i did take some videos before to show you the skirt better it turned out way better than I expected. Like, it turned out so, so well. I was a little bit worried about the side paneling. Pattern on the side panels are different from what is on the front panels, but I actually think it looks really cool. Like, once I actually, like, put it all together, I was like, that actually looks really, really cool, way more, like, symmetrical, and it just makes more sense, because originally, I think I was gonna do, like, three of the bigger panels, but then the seams would have just been in very weird areas so definitely if you have a bigger booty bigger waist like i do this would be the way to go yeah i'm just so excited to play a lot more around with this machine i've just had the most fun i've had in a while like i love this machine so i'm definitely gonna be making way more stuff with this let me know if you guys would like more videos of me using this machine i will also be posting a lot more on tiktok and instagram of me using this so definitely follow me on there and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more videos and yeah let me know how you think my skirt turned out and my beanies as well and i'll definitely post a photo as well of how my long sleeve top turns out i wanted to make like a set to match the skirt as well and i really just want to go yarn shopping right now and find all of like the multicolored yarn to like make stuff with i feel like this machine is just so nice to use like the multicolored yarn it's just so satisfying to see all the colors come through that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this one it was so much fun for me to make um, yeah thank you so much for being here for spending time with me and crafting with me it's just my favorite thing in the whole world so yeah thank you for being here and i will see you guys in my next video bye